Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, Ray, hey, thanks for joining us today on this fabulous, fabulous car. I get the smile on my face because I think about, you know what, maybe this wasn't my era of car, but I think about what the world was like back then when, when gas was uh, around 10 cents a gallon or bread was 15 cents a loaf or a new home was around $6,000 for a brand new house. You think about the average wage, yearly wage of a person was around $1,800. I mean, that is crazy numbers when you think about it. These cars sold brand new for under $1,000, under $1,000. Thanks to Jacob for all that information because we really needed that and he provided that, so I pass it on to you. Anyway, Cherokee gray and black, the color combination looks so period correct in this car. Look at it, man, with the tan interior and the tan top. This also has clip-in curtains here as well that go there, so if you get stuck in the bad weather, uh, there's some uh, uh, some protection, right? A couple cool things. This does have electric start in it, so it has electric starter in it, but it also has the crank start. And sometimes you might want to do this is uh, the crank goes right in here, okay? And you could have some friends go out in the garage and say, listen, man, if you don't mind, let's crank it up. And maybe those are where it started. We'll also look to see where the word trunk came from as well. And uh, uh, that is some of the features that I think at this point sound the most interesting, but let's talk about the quality of the restoration. We're talking about around less than 4,000 miles on this car since it was restored, and the color combination, everything, you can clearly see that. So let's look at the quality of the paint here first, because this is an important piece. You wanna make sure that you can read all the letters, all the detail in there, not fuzzy words, but nice crisp letters, because that says, wow, that's gonna be a shiny car when it arrives, not just a shiny car in pictures. All right, so let's take a peek under here, because you know what, you may, uh, you may, want to do a couple different things. One, you may want to uh, show this off, okay? And take it to a car show or something like that because you're going to want to open and see the detail here. Two, you might want to do your own uh, light mechanical work. Like let's say that you haven't been mechanical in the past, you want to learn how to change spark plugs and maybe a belt. This is the perfect car to do it because everything is so accessible, so easy. Parts are so inexpensive on these because they built so many of them, but there's not a lot of them restored left in this world. And that's why uh, I get so excited about it because you can get in this car and with this 201 cubic inch engine, right? Hit 65 miles an hour rolling on down the road in this car, man, of almost 100 years old, which is amazing. All right, so I love to show off of this part of the car because this part is kind of hidden, but it's also very exciting. So if you wanted a trunk back in the day, you would actually buy a physical trunk, which we can get you one for this if you'd like, and it would go right here, all right? That's where you would carry your luggage because uh, if you decide to go away or maybe want to go out with the family and some friends, you would put them back there, okay? And depending on the year of the car, kind of depends on where the steps are. On the 30 that we had, uh, it was on that side. On the 31, it's on this side. And it's got steps to get inside there so you don't scratch up the paint. And riding back there is an amazing, amazing experience when you think about it. Can you imagine going out to dinner with another couple or taking the kids for a ride in this car? It is a whole game changer. All right, so come on in here. Let's check out the uh, chestnut interior. I like to get in these because uh, when you're 6'1", you can show off that you actually, there is some room in here. Another person fits comfortably. You got plenty of room. Shifter's easy to get to, right? This has two upgraded gauges on it as well as amps, uh, showing 3,579 miles since the restoration. Gas gauge is right here, and it's one of those mechanical ones that uh, is a floating ball. It's, it's a cool piece of history to look at. Uh, as you roll around, you can see a couple small things here, like the windshield that can push out if you want to go ahead and, and add some air conditioning to your ride, right? Air conditioning, because this, but let's say you didn't put enough gel in your hair and you don't want too much air conditioning, you can go ahead and seal that up and keep your ride fresh as well as the quaff. All right, so let's close this up. We talked about the color combination, which is fabulous. The, the chestnut cognac style interior in here, matching canvas boot with the piping. It's just little detail stuff, hand laced wheels that are on here. Um, the, the lighting and just the fabulous chrome detail that's been redone on here. Uh, temperature gauge for the radiator is inside here as well. 
polished stainless bumpers. You have no idea the effort that goes into restoring something like this, let alone finding somebody who's really good enough to do that. The great thing is the hard work's been done for you, and now you can get in this car, go out with another couple, go out with the kids, and have an awesome, awesome time. Uh, anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 31 Ford Model A Cabriolet.